Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between George Marshall Norman and Akiba Rubenstein. This game was played in Hastings in 1922. George Marshall Norman had white pieces and he started with d4. Black to move. And black didn't make a move. Why? Rubenstein was 30 minutes late. The rumor says that he was late because he visited a beauty shop to trim his mustache. d5. Some 30 minutes later. Knight to f3. e6. c4. The queen's gambit, maybe. a6. White to move. e3. And c takes on d5. Where even then, the two most played moves. But Norman played a novelty to get out of the book and perhaps gain more time on the clock. c5. And after only four moves have been played, both players were out of the book, but Rubenstein had less time on the clock. c takes on d5. e takes on d5. Knight to c3. Knight to c6. g3. Intending to fianchetto the bishop and apply pressure on the pawn on d5. White intends to give black an IQP. Knight to f6, bishop to g2, bishop to e6, castling, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, black to move, and castling must wait. Knight to g4, attacking the bishop, queen to d2, knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, bishop to f6. Rubenstein was on the ball. Rook from f to d1. C takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Knight takes knight. Knight takes on d5. The idea is, if bishop takes knight, queen takes king. Just kidding. Black to move. Knight to c2. Knights are specialists in forking like this. Queen to f4. Black to move. What would you do? I guess some players would take the rook. Rubenstein castled kingside. Let's take it back. If knight takes rook, then knight to c7 check. And after the king moves, rook takes queen. If that happened, Rubenstein would shave off his moustache. Back to our game. In this position, Rubenstein castled kingside. Knight to c7, queen to e7, rook from a to c1, let's take it back. If knight takes on a8, knight takes rook and after knight to c7, knight to b3. Black is better. If you don't believe me, just count the pieces. Back to our game. Rook from a to c1, bishop to g5, queen to e5, bishop takes on c1, rook takes bishop. Black to move. Should black move the knight to a safe spot? Or maybe the rook? What would you do? Rubenstein played queen to b4. This is a brilliant move. I will not spoil it by saying why. You will see this for yourself. White to move. Knight takes rook. Rook takes knight. White to move. Bishop to e4. Let's take it back. If rook takes knight, then Queen to e1, check, and after bishop to f1, bishop to h3, and black wins. Back to our game. Bishop to e4, threatening to take the knight. Knight to d4, bishop to d3, queen to d2, attacking the rook, rook to f1. This looks like a very safe spot for the rook, doesn't it? Black to move, what would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Black played the move and white resigned and the move is... Ouch. White resigned in view of discontinuation. Pawn takes queen. Knight to f3 check. And after king to g2, knight takes queen. Wow. What a beauty. What do you think of this game? 
And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your tests and bye for now.